The most rewarding part for me about being on the team was a sense of uh, having a, a nice little community or robotics family per se. I learned how to be a better leader and I learned a lot of skills that are currently helping me in college. My initial field of interest was originally to be a park ranger, but ever since I've been in robotics, I've, I've learned so much more about how engineering works and all the things that happen along with it, and I've just really been hoping to be an engineer, and that's what I plan on going into. My role on the team is I, I build the robot. I learn all the systems and I learn how to build. I'm also the driver, so when we go to competitions, I'm the one who drives the robot. Human player is an aspect of the competition where um, during the game there's always a human that interacts with game pieces in some way. I was human player two out of my four years, but I really enjoyed it because you, you're there on the field and you're able to in interact. And all of you are probably thinking that you're gonna, you know, turn some wrenches, screw in some nuts, but. Actually, the team is comprised of a lot of subdivisions, and your interest might change over the years. Or the worst, would say the first. So, these first robotics competitions also entail of other rewards such as safety, imagery, chairmen, deans, excellence engineering, and a whole bunch of other rewards that you can help work towards on. My favorite part about being on the team is uh, I'm learning something that I have never, I've never even touched before, and it's. It's, it's good for me. My favorite part was seeing the different designs that people came up with and the different solutions that they came up for the challenge that we had this year. Uh, build season, yeah, it was it was cool. I hope that with the programming, I got to see a bunch of different you know perspectives on the robot. It was cool to see everyone just coming up with new ideas and working together to make it happen. It, it's all a learning environment, so you don't have to be afraid of not knowing what to do because the mentors or um, one of the other team members will help you figure it out. Gracious professionalism is helping out a team even if you're going against them the next competition at the next match. Making sure that they're the best that they can be and loading them stuff and being nice and congratulating them even if they win. It's working together as a huge team, first as a program, is a team, not just individual teams within it. You may come in thinking that you want to be technical and mechanical and you may think that that's all there is, but that's not it. The best part of the team is building the robot. Don't let anybody tell you different. The best part is building the robot. I've mentored this team for two years. Uh, total, I've uh, mentored first robotics teams for 18 years. I have a blast when I come out here. We uh, we get to build cool stuff. We get to uh, I get to meet interesting people. I hang out with uh, with students. It keeps me young. We brainstorm every year. We come up with something cool that. I would not have imagined on my own. It's it's really a wonderful program. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This has been a blast. Uh, this has really been a lot of fun uh, working with high school students, trying to teach them real world engineering. And it's it is a unique in, environment in first robotics to be able to get to get your hands on tools and solve real world engineering challenges. Uh, first Robotics is kind of amazing that way. There, there is no other opportunity in high school to get this kind of experience to see what it's like to be an engineer, to see what it's like to work in a technical field, uh, solve those problems side by side with, uh, with mentors that come in from industry and, and help out the students. It's truly a cool and unique opportunity.
Yeah.